Hey guys, welcome back. So, what we have to do right now is we need to put a 2400 box and we need to hook up five lines for hi hats. Now, we're doing uh, LEDs, so they're going to be recessed into the ceiling. So we're going to get that done right now. So we're going to have basically one light right there, one light right here. All the lights in the kitchen should be in front of the base cabinets. So base cabinets are your cabinets that go on the bottom. That's a base cabinet. Um, so all the lights should be in between the two cabinets and also should be in front of the base cabinets. So we're going to do three tiles over. So one hi-hat here, another hi-hat right here, one over there because there's an island going here. So one right there, one right there, and that'll be in front on that side. And then we're going to have the one, one directly in the middle. So that's what we're going to get done right. First we need a big box because we have a lot of lines coming in here. A lot of people will shove them into a small box. I'm not one of those type of electricians. I don't do that. I think there should be a lot of play in there, especially when you're running so many lines. Oh, shoot. I can't use this box. I forgot. All right. We got to get a different box. Well, we ran out of 1,900 boxes, so we're not going to be able to put a box up here tonight, but that's okay because we can continue to rock this way, and then tomorrow I'll pick up a box and we'll be good to go. So, we want to try to keep the Romex straight, so when you fasten it, it's not bent up. Okay, we need to pop a hole. Hope you guys can see this. Anytime you label your cables, you want to label it enough where you're not going to strip it. So this is main switch, light one, two, kitchen. when you're using Romex you want to drop it about four inches from the floor joist you don't want to put it right up against the floor joist or right on the bottom because you may miss putting the sheetrock up or 
drill something through the floor and, and, and hit that hit the uh the live and well, you know, Christmas tree is gonna happen. And the electric's gonna get messed up and then you're gonna have to tear the walls out to fix it. I twist my Romex together, so when I put the sheetrock up, it's easier to put it right through the hole. Now some people would not tack it. I do. Um, do you have to? No, you really don't have to, but it's best that you do. Less room for problems. Now we got all three drops in the place that we need them. So now we got to get another one. We'll strap those up once I cut these holes. Okay, that's beautiful. But the one thing is this one. This is in the wrong spot. So we need to come to it. Light six. So basically we have 
one going right here, one going right here, another one over there, another one over here, and then another one back there, and another one here. So we're gonna have three in, three in that row, two in this row, and one directly in the middle by the island. trust this machine at all. I bought it on Amazon. I got it really cheap, but I don't trust it. My sheetrock gun. Made this work so much easier. Alright, let's try this lift. When it works, it works good. But most of the time, it doesn't want to work right. But what can you expect of $185? Must have forgot maybe a nail or a screw or something in there. Oh, we can fix it. Nobody's perfect. But I do like my sheetrock perfect. So, I think we're going to call it a night. I'm really tired. It's about 1.30 a.m. So, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. God bless you and good night.